hope you're all having a great day. I am going to be doing a bit different of a video than I typically do, but hey, why not? Today I am revealing this palette from Wet n Wild. Now, I picked this up because I thought it was new. I don't think it is, <laughs> but I haven't seen anyone on YouTube talk about this, and this kind of needs to be talked about. I mean, sneak peek, what? What? Yeah. If you ask me, for the drugstore, that's pretty darn impressive. Now, the reason I thought this palette was new was because it was with a bunch of new products from Wet n Wild, at least at my Walgreens on the display. You know, it had their new setting mist thing and just all sorts of stuff. But then when I got home, I Googled it to see if other people had reviewed this yet and nothing came up for it. This palette is called the A229 Coming In Latte. There was also another one, but it was like ultra dark and sparkly colors, so I knew I would never use it. When I type in Wet n Wild Coming In Latte, a lipstick comes up from them. This ain't no lipstick. This was around eight bucks, I think, so super cheap for 10 eyeshadows, plus you get a brush in here. The brush really isn't all that great, but it was a good try. So I kept on searching and finally it seems to me that this palette was a part of like the Fergie collection at one point and it's the exact same palette except this one doesn't have Fergie across the plastic see-through plate thing. Cover. Cover. That's what it's called. So I don't know if the formula is any different or if anything's any different other than that small packaging difference, but hey, let's review the palette anyways. Now, first things first, this thing, like get ready to break a nail. This is actually really frustrating. I mean, do you see my poor thumbnail? It doesn't look that chipped because Seshvit is amazing, but it's taken some damage. <sighs> Annoying. Anyways, here you go. 10 beautiful, kind of neutral, and kind of schnazzy colors here. Like I said, it does come with a brush brush, but unfortunately this brush doesn't really do much for me. The flat side of it seems like, oh, this will be a great, like, packing on the color all over the lid kind of a thing. It hardly picks up any pigment. And the crease blending brush whatever i mean if you need one to like buff things out it's fine but it's not the best it's kind of uh sparsely packed in there it's not very dense so the brush was kind of a miss for me but i applaud wet and wild for trying for sure the big winner here and what really should matter is that these eyeshadows are really nice. Are they like Urban Decay Givenchy status? No, absolutely not, of course not. But for the price that you pay for this, they're really good. And if you're balling on a budget, yeah, yeah, this palette is fantastic. There are a few shades in here that are like so buttery, like unbelievably buttery. And surprisingly enough, it's the two matte shades here and then this one that's got a bit of shimmer to it, but like, oh, oh yes. What? What? Like, so buttery, so pigmented, I just, I'm so impressed. And like said, for matte shades to do that and then to swatch so freaking beautifully, I mean, that's amazing. Just as a little quick rundown of the colors here and so that I can swatch them for you guys and you can see what they look like. This first one here looks like it's a matte, kind of a beigey, neutral color here. It does have kind of a pearl to it finish. This pink shade reminds me a lot of, I think it's called Dust in the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And it's got a similar finish to it in that it is really, it's got a lot of kickback anyways. And then next you've got this very, very yellow based gold, which is also nice and soft. You know, the ones that aren't super buttery, they're still quite soft and nice. And it swatches really, really nicely. Same thing with the next shade here, which is a nice coppery orangey gold, which is kind of intimidating in the pan, but I feel like once you get this on the eyes, it's a really fun pop of color without being obnoxious like wearing a green or something. Next up one of my favorite shades in here it is this nice brown <laughs> like I look at it and I think of like a twig you know it's just a shimmery brown neutral bronze kind of a color 
And next up, you've got this really, really buttery, delicious matte taupe color. It's got a bit of a mauve undertone and it is just gorgeous to put through the crease and add some definition. Next up, another one of my favorite shades. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. I don't even know how to describe this. Mauvey pink taupe with a bit of a auburn undertone to it. It's so, so pretty. And next up, it's mostly a matte, dark, cool toned brown. It does have a bit of that mauvey red auburn undertone to it, and it does have like some silver sparkle running through there, but it's really hardly noticeable at all. And then next to that one is a really, really gorgeous, buttery, chocolatey, chocolate, delicious chocolate. I like chocolate. <laughs> it's just absolutely gorgeous. I like to use this mixed with a black to make an eyeliner, which is what I can do with this black right next to it. It's a gorgeous black. It's got kind of a chalkier feel to it, but surprisingly enough, it's quite pigmented. And for the purpose of doing just an eyeliner like I do, it's totally fine in that it can be a bit patchy at the bottom of a swatch, but that's okay, I'm not putting this all over my lid anyways. I am wearing this eyeshadow today. I'll give you a close up here. I'll take off my glasses for you, but can you just see? Everything blends together so nicely. You can kind of see like how flimsy this brush is, but it does blend things out if you're in a pinch and you don't have anything better than that, but it still does its job. I just... You know. So yeah, I don't know that there's much else to review when you do like a palette review like this. I just really think this is a great palette and like I said, I haven't really heard anyone talking about it here on YouTube so I figured if I can get the word out there, great. I think this is a really good one to add to your collection if you like a bit of neutrals or what have you. And these shadows really do last all day. You can see, I feel like in a couple of my more recent first impression videos, I'll link them down below when I was wearing these eyeshadows, but you can see like they last all day. They look just as good after my first ding snap transition as they do at my final check-in, you know, 12 hours later. So I think these are great shadows. I really think they're worth a shot. Wet n Wild, I feel like, is pretty notorious in that their permanent shadow palettes are quite awesome, but then their like limited edition new type palettes are kind of shoddy. I don't know that this is like a permanent addition to their collection now, but I think they did a good job with this one. I hope this review was helpful for you. Like I said, I know this is a little different from my norm, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, give me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And as always, I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.